The question here is, could you do an example on finding the projection of a force in a certain direction by using the dot product? We did one example before and we'll do another one here. This is the problem that I have selected here. We have a force F acting at point A. The component form of vector F is given. In addition, these dimensions are given. The question is to find the component of F along OA. This problem is fundamentally the same as the uh, one we did in uh, the earlier video. That is example 1, but it differs in detail. For example, the coordinates of point A are not given, but these dimensions are given. Also in the previous problem, we had a cable uh, along the direction of the force, and the coordinates of two points on the cable were given, so we had to find a vector uh, between the two points. But here, uh, the force F is given in its component form. So these are some of the differences between the two problems. Let's call this vector, vector from O to A as little a. Let's extend this line and call this angle as theta. First we know that the component of F along OA is simply F cosine theta, right? You might ask, how come we are not using this angle? If the question had been to find the projection of F along AO, that's the angle we would have used. But the question is actually to find the projection along OA, not AO, OA, right? And therefore, uh, we need to sort of extend this line and define that angle because this is the vector in the direction of OA. That is going from here this way, right? Vector A does not start from point A, but it doesn't matter. It can start from anywhere. Remember, a vector doesn't have a starting point, right? So the direction of the magnitude is what matter, right? And therefore, uh, the vector starting from here is identical to this vector right there. The second part of solving this problem is to find the angle theta. So there's a vector A here, vector F here. The angle between the two is given by this equation in accordance with the definition of the dot product. Doesn't matter whether you have a position vector like vector A or a force vector like vector F. A vector is a vector. The problem boils down to defining the component form of F and the component form of little a. The component form of F is given to us, so let's go ahead and find the component form of A. Using the same general approach we used earlier, here are the details of finding the component form of little a. We'll list the coordinates of the starting point, which in this case is point O, and we know point O coincides with the origin of the coordinate system, and therefore the coordinates are 0, 0, 0. From the picture you can see the coordinates of point A are 2, 5, and minus 3 meters. Then vector A works out to be this, 2i plus 5j minus 3k. Here's a summary from previous slide. Let's go ahead and find the angle theta. First, I find the magnitude of f over here. We get a value of 37.41 Newton for that. Then I find the magnitude of little a, which is 6.16 meters. Then I go ahead and calculate the dot product between little a and f, which works out to be 210 Newton meter. Now I'm ready to calculate the angle theta. Theta equals cosine inverse of 210 Newton meter divided by 6.16 meters, which is little a, times 37.41 Newton, which is f. You can see the units cancel out the way uh, they are supposed to. We have Newton meter in the numerator and the Newton meter in the denominator. The angle is calculated to be 24.3 degrees. Now we can answer the question. Projection of f along OA is f cosine theta. F is 37.41 Newton, theta is 24.3 degrees, and therefore the projection works out to be 34.1 Newton.